know I've been away for a long time. Well, I posted a video last week, but I've been away for a long time, maybe two weeks. Um, honestly, I did tell you guys that I want to start changing the way that I uh, pretty much do my YouTube. I don't always want to do vlogs because I feel like at the point that I'm in right now, I've been doing vlogs for maybe six to seven months consistently. I want to start maneuvering in a different way. I want to start talking about my fashion. I want to start talking about the pickups that I do. You know, I've been gone for two weeks, but I have been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes, meaning working, shopping, um, planning for the next video, and planning for the next project. I don't really have an excuse on why I haven't been uploading as often. I don't necessarily have an excuse why I haven't been recording as of often. Honestly speaking, vlogging to me is not something that I want to do. I don't want to do it anymore. Um, especially, I had a, you know, a planned in mind today but it had to get canceled because it started raining and it felt like it was winter time. Like today, Sunday, it's Mother's Day. It is so cold and it's ugly outside. So I decided to, you know, I have been doing a lot of shopping lately. Let me just show you guys what I've picked up recently. Oh, so we're just gonna get right into this video. I'm not gonna talk about fabrics. I'm not gonna talk about nothing too crazy. I just wanna show you guys what I picked up recently. We're going to keep it pushing, so let's see how it is. If you guys like this video, just please give it a thumbs up. Go down, subscribe. We hit a 100 subscribers. That's what I was trying to get for months. So let's just keep going up. So if you guys like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Follow my Instagram and my Snapchat down below. Let's get in it. The fuck was that? All right, first and foremost, I was looking for a completely different shirt. But then I just stumbled upon this one, and it had to come with me. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Stussy or Stussy. It's just a plain white Stussy shirt. But the difference between this one and all the other ones is this one has a purple logo. And in the back, has a purple logo as well. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like that white on purple just goes well together um the shirt that i originally wanted was the logo in the front was black and no, i think it was black or purple and then there was a big stussy logo um in green it was like an olive green so i really really wanted that they didn't have my size they had an extra large instead of a large because i go from large to extra large like on a consistent basis i don't really know why it's pretty cool for the summertime. I mean, it goes with pretty much anything. That purple is not anything too strong. Like, oh my God, I can't match it with this purple. So it's not too bad. Um, There's a website called Minimal. It's really, really popular in LA. Um, Recently, I've been on their website just looking at stuff and I stumbled upon this olive shirt. Oh, like something with me, I, I just love olive. And this shirt really caught my eye because it's not like a regular shirt. It's a drop tee. So it's gonna be a little longer than expected. And I didn't necessarily know how the sizing worked on minimal. So I ended up getting an extra large. I really, really wanted to get a large because once I got this in person and I tried it on, it's kind of big, but I'm gonna make it work. It's definitely unique. Has that pocket on the left side. Right here, it just gives you instructions on how to wash it and how not to wash it. Usually it's inside the shirt, but I mean, regardless of anything, the olive pocket, this weird thing right here, I don't know why that's there. And then that hint of like off white, I can't go wrong. I, I actually like this and it's olive. They had an olive and a black color. Honestly, wish I got both, but hey, you pay for what you get in a way. These, I'll say this now, you're getting so much more for what you paid. The quality in these pants are crazy. These are like basketball shorts, but streetwear basketball shorts. They're super thick. And it's like, it's perfect for the summertime and the springtime. Like, it, it, it pretty much goes with everything. It goes with everything. It, pro yeah, it goes with the white Stussy shirt. It goes with the olive. Like, you could just do so much 
But again, thirty or forty dollars for these pants, and I don't know how much I paid. I honestly forgot it's one of those two, and the material is crazy. You really can't go wrong. I'm known for always wearing the sweat shorts and you know always going to H and M and Forever Twenty One or Urban Outfitters. But honestly, for this price, you can honestly not go wrong. This is not clothes, but I ended up getting like a little minimal tote with the clothes that I bought. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Can't go wrong. I, I'm known for wearing book bags just for legit charger and gum. So just to have this alternative, instead of having a book bag hurting my back, can't go wrong for the summertime as well. So enough talking about clothes for now. Let's talk about the sneaker pickups that I got. I wanna say maybe within a week and a half. I do have another pair of sneakers back there that are new that I haven't showed you guys, but I haven't really, you know what? I'm gonna just still get them. So these are old. I'm not gonna really count them as what I got recently. Um, this shit's still fire though. I, I was going super, super hard to try to get these. And when I got them in person, I was just, blown away on how good they were but the infrared sixes i mean i've seen a lot of people with them already and they've already destroyed it mine still is icy on the bottom so this is fire bro but let's get into what i recently picked up so these pair of jordans right here i'll be honest with you i was kind of a hater i never liked the ones Hated Jordan ones. I feel like, oh my God, they just look like, you know what I used to compare them to? I used to compare them to Air Force Ones, the high tops. I'm like, yo, it honestly didn't catch my eye. But as I got older and I see more colorways come out, these right here, man, I, I had to pick them up. A lot of people slept on them. Like I said before, I never said this, but I'm gonna say it now. You could sleep on them because the more that you sleep on them, it's easier for me to get. So, the Crimson's ones. Crim Crimson's one. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but the ones, these ones right here. You know, you know that 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 smell of you know brand new sneakers. It's a fire, bro. <laughs> these are definitely different. Um, you won't really see a lot of guys wear that pink salmon crimson color. And when you see people buy this sneaker, you would never see them put that green turquoise lace. Normally you would see them keep the black laces, but to be honest, I feel like <sighs> throwing on like a green sweater with this, like this same green, with some blue jeans, some ripped, distressed blue jeans, you really can't go wrong. So these sneakers right here, I'm gonna save for last. Those are very special to me. So touching back on clothes, you guys may have seen me wear it last video. And a lot of people was hitting me up like, yo, I like that hoodie, I like that hoodie. Oh man, yes. It's my butterfly hoodie. And the only reason why I still have the tag on it and stuff is because since it's white, I learned with my last hoodie that you cannot wear it as often because the sleeves right here would turn very, very, very black. I'm, I'm going to use this hoodie on a very, very special occasion. This shirt, I don't know. I like weird stuff and this shirt... <laughs> At first glance, it just looks like a, a kid in the front. I don't necessarily know if this is like an anime or something, but I like graphic tees with a big picture like this on the back. It is definitely different. It's definitely like my style. I, I'm very, I'm a very loud person, but I'm very minimalistic as well. So I don't like to, you know, dress so crazy, but. The pieces that I do have is, is, is crazy, meaning like I can wear regular cargos with a regular plain hoodie, but then my sneakers are so fire. So last but not least, guys can probably already tell from the box. Ah, these, these shoes right here hold a very special place in my heart. So 
most of you guys already know what it is. And yes, these right here. I've already wore them yesterday. I wore them yesterday, so yeah. I do wear my sneakers. I did promise myself that I wasn't gonna wear them, but it just matched with the outfit that I had on yesterday. But these sneakers right here, these hold a very sp special place in my heart. And I'm gonna explain the story why. So back in maybe 2012 or 2013 when these originally dropped, um, they had the Jordan logo on the back, the Jumpman logo on the back. So back then I was an eight and a half, but I started getting my little bit of money. You know, I was, I was doing what I had to do. I started work. So I've been, you know, getting a little bit of money. So I knew that these sneakers were going to drop. And I'm like, I really, really want them. At that time, I didn't know anything about, you know, um, reservating them or, you know, camping out for them. I didn't know anything. I didn't, I wasn't allowed to, you know, camp out at all because I was still young. My mom was like, she wasn't going to let me, especially for a pair of sneakers that back in the day, sneakers were crazy. The camp outs were crazy. Like you were risking your life pretty much just to even get a pair of sneakers. When they first came out, I ended up getting maybe, I think a size nine or a nine and a half and they were big. So I was just like, damn. These are not going to fit me. But I didn't necessarily care about the sneaker itself. I just wanted to get a hype sneaker. Because back then I was wearing like Air Maxes and Converse. And I wasn't really too fashion-like. So back then, I had this group of friends that we would always play baseball. We would always play catch, you know, uh, scrimmage games. And there was one friend named Kevin. I remember this like it was yesterday. So my man is Kevin. He was the same size as the sneakers that I had. And he wanted to do a trade, a trade off. So I'm like, what you want to trade me? Cause at that time I didn't really know that much about sneakers. I knew because like my brothers, they used to be crazy Jordan, you know, collectors. So I'm like, if I see something that I'll know that my brothers have, I know that it's going to be fire. Ends up trading me. Candy Cane 14s and they just recently dropped too. Uh, maybe like I believe two weeks ago they just dropped. I'm gonna have a picture either here or here. Um, so yeah, he tried to trade me Candy Cane 14s and at that time I knew that those were popping. I knew that because my brothers had pretty much like he, he had the all red Ferrari ones. I think that's what they're called and they had they had a lot of you know Jordans and I knew specifically like those are one of the ones that they had. So I'm here thinking, all right, I'm gonna be, you know, looking like my brothers, I'm gonna dress fly. Pretty much traded some brand new Jordan 4s and I actually ended up paying resale. I bought it in Flight Club for maybe like 450. So I traded brand new pair of sneakers for some beat Jordan 14s. Like I said, these sneakers right here, these are mine. These are not going nowhere. Finally got the right size. Um, These sneakers will always have a place in my heart. So that's it for today's video. Um, I just wanted to update you guys on a few things that I ended up getting, a few things that's been going on. Um, Next video, I'm going to update you guys on the whole moving situation and where I'm at with that. But as of right now, I feel good. Life is great. And I hope you guys had an amazing Mother's Day. Like I said, you guys, thank you so much. Remember, follow my Instagrams down below. Follow my Snapchat down below. Down below, leave a like, subscribe. Because I promise you, this is nothing yet. We're just getting started. But remember, be humble, remain hungry, and stay cozy.